Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture series on digital image processing. I am Dr. Dafda and in this 78th video class of DIP, we will study land transform in digital image processing and its implementation in MATLAB. In one of my video class, I received this comment to make different videos on various types of image transforms like Walsh, Hadamard, DCT, DWT, land transform etc. Discrete cosine transform or DCT we have already studied in video lecture number 46. DWT discrete wavelet transform we have already studied in our video lecture number 47 and 63. Walsh Hadamard transform we studied in our video lecture number 76 and in our previous video class we understood AL transform. In this video class we will study slant transform. So as usual starting with the name why because everything is there in the name what is the meaning of slant transform? The slant transform is called slant transform because it is slant in nature or its nature is like sawtooth waveforms which are slant okay. So for the slant transform the basis functions are slant or sawtooth and we know in image processing sawtooth waveform will represent linear brightness variations okay so let us start so very first thing is what is the meaning of transform see transform means transformation from one domain to other domain for example Fourier transform transfers image from spatial domain to frequency domain and next question is why do we use transforms because it enables the identification of features that may not be easily detected in the spatial domain the reasons for transforming an image from one representation to another are the transformation may isolate critical components of image pattern so that they are directly accessible for analysis and also the transformation may place the image data in more compact form so that they can be stored and transmitted efficient. Let us see the introduction. The slant transform is derived from sawtooth waveforms. Why? Because the sawtooth wave represents the linear brightness variations. A slant matrix has a constant basis vector corresponding to zero sequency and slant basis vector. And see this sequency means the number of zero crossings that we have already understood in Walsh Hadamard transform video lecture number 76 okay so the basis vectors monotonically decreases with sequency in the constant step from maximum to minimum and the matrix has sequency property and high energy compaction property due to which it is used for image compression and denoising the lowest order of slant matrix is 2 and a 2 cross 2 slant matrix is same as Haar matrix so this is 2 cross 2 Haar matrix which we have studied in video lecture number 60. The slant matrix is also same 1 upon root 2 1 1 1 minus 1 and it is identical to Hadamard matrix also. So this is 2 cross 2 Hadamard matrix which we understood in video lecture number 76 1 1 1 minus 1 just the 1 upon root 2 normalization is not present here. So from this we conclude that the slant matrix is also a member of orthogonal transforms like AL transform, Walsh Hadamard transform, Haar transform etc. It has a constant function for the first row and has a second row which is a slant function of the column index. So always for the first row of slant matrix it will be having a constant function such as 1 1 1 1 and so on. Okay. The slant transform was developed by Pratt and other developers and was introduced by Inomoto and Shibata in 1971 as an orthogonal transform which contains discrete sawtooth waveforms or slant basis vectors. The slant transform has high energy compaction property and its algorithm is computationally very fast. So if U is the original image of size n cross n and Sn is the slant matrix then the slant transformation is given by this equation. The properties of slant transform are like this. It is real and orthogonal. It is very fast transform. It has good energy compaction and the mean vectors for slant transform matrix are not sequentially ordered for n greater than or equal to 3. And what are the applications of slant transform? It is used in image compression and image denoising. See a 2 by 2 slant matrix is given by which is same as the matrix for hard transform. Okay. Now the slant matrix can be for capital N is equal to 2, 4, 8 and so on. A 2 by 2 matrix obviously has got 4 coefficients. A 4 by 4 matrix has got 16 coefficient. A 8 by 8 matrix has got 64 coefficients and so on. But here capital N that is shown is not equal to small n and capital N is equal to 2 raised to n. So as capital N is equal to 2 raised to small n, when capital N is equal to 2, small n is equal to 1, when capital N is equal to 4, small n is equal to 2, when capital N is equal to 8, small n is equal to 3 and so on. For capital N is equal to 2, a 2 by 2 slant matrix is given by S1 is equal to 1 upon root 2, 1, 1, 1, minus 1. And for higher values of capital N, that is N is equal to 4, 8, 16 and so on, it is given by this matrix. Let us form a slant matrix for capital N is equal to 4, that is a 4 by 4 slant matrix. If capital N is equal to 4, 
small n will be equal to 2. So, this is s small n. So, it will be s 2 s 2 is equal to 1 upon root 2 into this matrix into this matrix. Say this matrix is x, this matrix is y. So, first see in this matrix, this i is the identity matrix. So, here it is i capital N by 2 minus 2. So, capital N is 4. So, I 4 by 2 that is 2 minus 2 that is I 0. So, this will be I 0. Similarly, this also will be I 0. So, the size of this identity matrix is 0 you can say right and therefore, these mid terms are not present or are neglected. So, what will remain only this term, this term, this term and this term. Okay, so S2 is equal to 1 upon root 2 into 1 0 a n b n 1 0 minus a n b n 0 1 minus b n a n 0 minus 1 b n a n into in this matrix this is S small n minus 1 that is S small n is 2 minus 1 that is S1 and we know what is S1? S1 is 1 upon root 2. 1 1 1 minus 1 okay so this term will be we will take out 1 upon root 2 common so 1 upon root 2 1 1 1 minus 1 1 1 1 minus 1 this is 0 so we will keep here 4 zeros this is again 0 so we will keep here 4 zeros and this is again s1 so we have already taken out 1 upon root 2 common this will be 1 1 1 minus 1 now in this matrix we have to find out the constants an and bn so an is given by this equation and bn is given by this equation let us first find out an 3 capital n square upon 4 capital n square minus 1 so 3 into capital n is 4 so capital n square will be 4 4 are 16 upon 4 of again capital n square that is 4 square that is 16 minus 1 and of course this is raised to 1 by 2 so here 4 4 are 16 so it will be 3 4 are 12 upon 16 minus 1 that is 15 again cancelling 3 from the numerator and denominator 3 4 are 12 so it will be 4 and 3 5 are 15 so it will be 5 raised to 1 by 2 that is root 4 which is 2 upon root 5 so an will come out to be 2 upon root 5 similarly so, the value of bn will be 1 upon root 5. So, we will keep the value of an and bn in this matrix. So, this is 1 upon root 2 into this matrix. We have kept the values of an and bn into 1 upon root 2 into this matrix. 1 upon root 2 into 1 upon root 2 is 1 upon root 4 which is equal to 1 upon 2 and multiplying this matrix and this matrix we obtain this matrix which is same as this matrix. So, this is 4 by 4 or 4 cross 4 slant transformation matrix and we can see the sequence here there are no sign changes so for the first row it is 0 for the second row from this to this no sign change from here to here one sign change and again no sign. so total sign changes are 1 for the third row from 1 to minus 1 one sign change no sign change and again one sign change that means 1 plus 1 2 sign changes and for the last row one sign change two sign change and three sign change so total three sign changes or three sequence so, in this way, we obtain a 4 cross 4 slant transformation matrix and following the same procedure, we can obtain different slant transformation matrices using these matrices and these equations of an and bn. Similarly, a 8 cross 8 slant transformation matrix that we obtain will be like this. Let us implement slant transformation in MATLAB. So that is all for this video class. You can download the PPTs from the Google Drive link that is given in the description box. Also the MATLAB code is given in the description box. Thank you very much.